All right. Um, sorry about the fan noise. This thing has a big fan in it. Um, so we did a rise time measurement using this plugin, a uh, two channel 50 gigahertz module. Now we're going to be looking at this module here, which is a TDR module. And we can just leave this here, just ignore it. It's just there. Um, so we have the uh, TDR module. What is TDR? Time domain reflectometry. It's going to send out a signal. It's going to bounce and it's going to come back and it'll tell us how long did it, how, how long did the, did the bounce take, okay? So we need to um, change some things here. We need to go into TDR mode, push that button there. And we need to uh, modify um, uh, let's see here. We need to turn on channel three. Uh, channel three is going to be this one, 3A. Um, so we'll come here. We'll turn on 3A. Close this. Uh, let's see here. Let me go here. There we go. So now we have a, you can see we have a step response. Okay, and um, we can we can see that uh, there is a uh, small flat section, and that's just the that's just internal to the scope. And then when it sees the outside world, we get this big change. We get this big reflection. Basically, it says that all the power is being reflected back because it sees an open. Okay. If we put a uh, load there, uh, let's go ahead and put a load on the, uh, is this a load? I think this is a load. We'll put a load on the, uh, on 3A here. Uh, and there we go. So you put a load on, then there is no reflection and you get a straight line that just goes out and nothing ever bounces back, okay? All right, so we, uh, that's a good way to check your calibration too. Uh, you use an open short type of thing, uh, calibrate this thing. So it looks like the cal is good. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take this length of coax, okay? It's about one foot long, all right? And we will screw that onto our measurement port. And you can see that we now have a step because there's an open, but it takes some time before we get to the step, okay? Um, and so we are at uh, 500 picoseconds per division. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. So we could also set a marker. All right. So let's see, let's turn on markers. Uh, we're going to put it on port one. We'll turn that on. Close that. And now we can move our marker and uh, we can see that our reflection is happening right at about uh, 2.3 nanoseconds. And so general principles, you know, it's about a nanosecond per foot and it takes about two feet because it has to go the length of the coax and then all the way back again. So it's going to take about two nanoseconds. Yes, there's the velo speed, uh, velocity of the cable that you have to take into account and everything, but this is a reasonable, this is a two, 2.3 nanosecond cable, okay? All right, so we did that. Um, let's go ahead and put on, uh, let's see, let me find something interesting to put on. All right, I am going to put this on. This is a little test board that I made a long time ago for the VNA. And I put some uh, 50 ohm impedance uh, uh, strip line construction, uh, or I forget what that's called, microstrip with, uh, I don't remember what that structure is called. It's got grounds on both sides. and um, But anyway, we're gonna put that in there on the same cable, okay? So let's go ahead and and connect that. So remember we have the cable plus we have that other thing, right? All right. So I think, okay, so I think you can see 
we left the marker where the end of that cable was, and now we've got some additional length right here. Well, that's the length of our little board, so we can actually measure the length of that little board, okay? And then we get a big continuity change here, uh, uh, discontinuity, because it's an open again, all right? So let me take that little 50 ohm load that I had, and let me attach him to the other side of the little board. And so now we have it just going straight across, okay? All right, so I think you can see this thing does TDR. Now, um, we're gonna do something really special, and this is what I get excited about this thing for. Um, we are going to turn on a graph that's in ohms, okay? We're going to use this S1, it's really S11 that we're measuring in, in time domain. And we can see here now we have it coming straight across and we have this little dip. Well, what are we measuring? Well, we're measuring the impedance. Um, you can do the math. You can look at the voltage that you send out and the voltage that re you receive. And you can do a little bit of math. It's very simple math, but you can generate the impedance. So, so let me change the, um, let me change the units here. So there we go. We're coming along at 50 ohms. And then we hit the, that's our cable. And then we drop down here to something like 47 ohms. And then we come back up again. Okay, so my load is 50 ohms, my cable is 50 ohms, but that little bit of microwave transmission line that I tried to design, I didn't hit 50 ohms. I used a calculator to figure out what the th thickness, thickness and spacing, all that stuff, and I, it said I should get 50 ohms, and I'm not getting 50 ohms. In fact, let's go ahead and zoom in even further. Let's go to two. Yeah, you can see here we're almost at 46, maybe a little 46 and a half, we'll call it. We could put in a little bit of, um, let's see, your setup, acquisition. We can put in a little bit of filtering. Uh, we'll filter 16, there we go. So it just quieted it down. So yeah, so you can see um, there's a little bit of discontinuity right here at the beginning. That's the connectors. And then it hits the transmission line, the, the coax. Coax is nice and repeatable. And then the, the SMA to SMA to the PC board, there's a little bit of reflection that happens there. And then we get onto that little, that little uh, section of, uh, I can zoom in on that even further. We, we can zoom, we can zoom over here. Oops, there we go, there it is. So again, this is our coax, this is our connectors, this is the uh, strip line on the board, and then more connectors, and then uh, my, my 50 ohm load. And this is the 50 ohm load over here. So yeah, so this is a really, really good way of measuring the impedance of things and looking at reflections. So if you're laying out a PC board and you want to have fast traces and stuff, this is a perfect tool to look to see if you are getting any reflections or uh, your you know PC board design isn't isn't quite right. So yeah, this is this is a great, great tool. I love it. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. This is a nice machine. You can see what I was doing here. I put a load on the other end. So we saw that the, the coax was nice and 50 ohms. This long inter, interconnect here and SMAs caused a little bit of uh, uh, reflection. And then we got on to that little stripe there. It turned out to be about 47 ohms. And then we got into the 50 ohm load and everything was okay again. So uh, imagine this is a PC board you could actually measure the distance with this machine and figure out where on your circuit board are you getting a reflection. Um, so yeah, pretty nice tool.